Imagine you were alone, completely and utterly alone. No friends, school isn't going well, completely all alone. Your parents, your family, they don't understand what it's like to be stressed in school. So you end up getting more distant and more distant and more distant from each other. You may be surrounded by people, but you still feel completely lonely. Are you terrified of that? Or maybe this is something that you're already feeling right now. Something that is a very real reality to you. You want to know how I managed to describe that in such depth? Because I went through that two years. I was excluded by my own friend group, me and my family. Some of us didn't even talk to each other for years. I had literally no friends and I was completely and utterly alone. And I felt like I couldn't turn to my family because we were so distant from each other. Even though I was going to college every single day, surrounded by people, always acting super positive, yet no one knew how truly lonely I felt. I can happily and confidently say that I don't feel like that anymore. And it's not because I stopped be feeling lonely, it's not because I found people to get along with. And it was because even though loneliness was my cage, solitude was my home. I learned to fall in love with the art of being alone. First things first, how are you? I hope you're alright, and I hope things have been good. If you clicked on this video, then maybe things are really tough right now. And I can hope this can this can help you out. Getting straight into the video, I wanted to reveal to you my story. What it was like going through that sort of very dark, lonely period of my life. And how I managed to overcome it, and enjoy the art of being alone. And how that led to me meeting other people, and not feeling lonely anymore. People I could really connect with, good friends, good quality friends that I genuinely care about, and they genuinely care about me. So how did I do that? How did I completely change my life so where me and my family get on, and how you can find comfort in being alone? You see, I left college. I dropped out of college because I was being excluded, I didn't enjoy, even though I was surrounded by people, I felt so lost. So I dropped out of college saying that I was going to work a 9 to 5 job, save up money and go live in Japan. Yeah, I, I was young, I was young, um, it's just, just you know, it, it was a dream, it was a dream. But I went and did that, I went and studied, and then I started getting depressed. I was working a typical 9 to 5 job, getting home late, kind of just drinking all the time, playing video games all the time, and my dad was proud of me for working so hard but he was worried because I basically never came out my room and it wasn't until I stumbled something known as mental health now the way I stumbled across this was from this big topic on YouTube known as self-improvement the idea of leveling up now the way you can find comfort in being alone is by the strangest strangest mentality and that is if you life like a video game and this is coming from someone who used to be addicted to video games for literally, like, over 10 years, right? I was addicted to video games pretty much my whole life, and I'm getting up to 20 now. And I have quit video games, I haven't played them in, like, over a year. And I'm telling you, the way I managed to change my life and find comfort was by viewing my life as a video game. The one thing that made me feel so distant from the world, from reality. And that is because I found stability in leveling up. I viewed life as a video game, and that the only way to level up and get better at this video game was by self-improvement, leveling up all the different aspects of my life, my physical health, my mental health, and my financial health. I viewed that these three main parts of my life all needed to be leveled up for me in order to enjoy life, in order to enjoy this video game. You see, when you first start leveling up in a video game, like when you're so underleveled and you can't do anything, it sucks. You know, all your friends are super high levels and you're trying to get up to them. You're like, what the fuck? But then when you do get to their level and you spend all those hours and hours and hours leveling up, improving, and then you get better. The video game is so enjoyable because you're so good at it now. Things are more enjoyable. And not only that, you start to see other people who look up to you and they want to level up to your position you start demanding a set of respect from people. Now, the same thing happens in life. When I go to the gym, when I first started going to the gym, and 
this happened when I was kind of going through my sort of lonely period for like two years when I was, I was, I was in a very dark place. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to go to the gym for the first time. I'm starting to get the idea of leveling up my life like a video game. That self-improvement is like a video game. So I'm going to start going to the gym. I walked into the gym. I was surrounded by big muscular men. <laughs> that sounds a bit weird. But they were all huge. And I was looking at all of them lifting literally like, what is it? Like incredibly heavy weights. Like me who couldn't even for chest exercises I couldn't even do 10 kg and they were doing 10 kg as bicep curls they were curling my chest exercise like and I was looking at them like how I want to get there how do they do that that kind of also made me a bit self-conscious made me a bit worried and that's the one thing a lot of people are terrified of when they first start going to the gym they get worried when they see all the other guys and they start being very self-conscious of them, their body, their weights that they're lifting. Then that's the thing that changed everything. When I viewed life as a video game, those higher level guys at the gym came down and helped me. They helped me improve my level. They started teaching me how to grow. They started teaching me. In a month's time, in two months time, I'm now lifting the same weights as them. Literally the other day, a guy came in for the first time, like a teen, a bit younger, with a group of his friends, and they were all at this crowd in this one exercise, and their form was so bad that they were going to injure themselves. And they were wondering why it wasn't, like, it didn't feel like it was doing anything. Why is this exercise, and why does it not feel like it's working? And they came and asked me for my help. And I looked at them, and I was like, what? You're asking me? Oh my god, I've leveled up. I've actually started leveling up. Whoa! And I gave them, I gave them advice that they were basically sitting way too far back from the from the machine. So you're using your arms rather than your back. I, I went into big nerd, like I started full on nerded out, and I started giving them advice on how they could help. Don't focus so much on like as m how much weight you can lift. Lower the weight and just focus on your form so you don't injure yourself and form over weight because correct form will help you grow. 10 times faster and they all started to notice like straight away like oh my god this is really helpful thank you and in two weeks time they will have had made so much progress i guarantee it so how did this help me find comfort in being alone how did this help me find a home in solitude and it's because i fell in love with it i fell in love with leveling up you see when i was home distant from my family i didn't have many friends good friends that I could genuinely care about and they genuinely cared about me I didn't know what to do with myself I didn't know what to do with my time so I turned to so many bad habits alcohol video games doom scrolling on social media for literally hours upon hours because I had nothing else to do but when I started leveling up all the different aspects in my life you know I started going to the gym improving my physical I started meditating to improve my mental and then I started reading more books about business to improve my knowledge on the financial because I knew in a year's time that this information would help me. I started to fall in love with the progress, the progress I was making. And that sounds familiar, doesn't it? That sounds very familiar to how you feel on video games. When you start to get better on video games, you start leveling up and you start to do better and you start to notice and other people start to notice. You start to like that game more. You start to play that game more so you can make more progress. I noticed it was the exact same thing with this game of life. When I started to make more progress, people started to notice. I started to fall in love with the progress. So much so, I forgot that I was lonely. I fell in love with progress so much that I forgot what it was like to be alone. I stopped thinking about how lonely I was, the victim mentality. I started thinking about what I could do next. Okay, well, what can I learn next about the gym? All right, uh, when can I go? You know what, I'm gonna try this exercise today. Wake up in the morning, oh, I've got uh, meditation time, I'm so excited. What else can I do to improve my mental health? I can read more. Oh, this is something known as gratitude journaling, where I write 10 things I'm grateful for. What does this do? Oh, it makes me more grateful. It makes me more happy. Okay, all right, I'll try it. Oh my God, it works. This is great. Oh, you know what? It's lunchtime. I'm gonna have some food. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna read that book. 
The Psychology Behind Business. It's a really good read and it's helping me learn more about business, how to actually start a business, which I will one day. And look where I am right now. And guess who else noticed? My family. My dad noticed and he was like, Sean, are you going to the gym? And I was like, yeah. Why? And he looked at me and he said, I, I can see. You're making improvements. It, it's showing. I genuinely cannot tell you how happy that made me. After being so distant and so alone for so long, my relationship with dad and me and him have always has always been amazing, but him and I have been through a lot. And, you know, with everything that's happened, just hearing those words from him just made me feel like a hurdle that there was there for us get, getting closer and I straight up just kicked the hurdle out the way and that moment I felt closer with him it felt good but then something else happened whilst I was leveling up whilst I was going to the gym more whilst I was focusing on my, my mental health whilst I was going to the library to read more books about business I noticed something I fell in love with being alone that things I could do in my alone time leveling up improving myself I fell in love with that notion right that motive but then I noticed something. Every time I walked into the gym, the receptionist, she would smile and she would say hi. She knew my name. I'd been going so consistently that she just knew me. And I, it felt natural. I was like, oh, hi. Walk in. The, when I was putting up all my stuff away, taking off my motorcycle helmet, there would always be a guy that I knew at the gym. One of those bigger guys than me. He'd be like, hey, Sean, how you doing? I'd be like, hey, man. How, yeah, I'm good. It's back and by today. What are you doing? Ah, uh, his legs are... Uh, I started to meet more more people, people I genuinely cared about, just from doing this stuff. And guess what? I now have two very close friends, who we are going to the gym together, and they genuinely care about me. And I genuinely care about them. And they've quit so many things, and they're starting to improve so much. Like, one of them has lost the most amount of weight I've ever seen. One of them is insanely aggressive and trying to improve as much as possible. You know, he's like, let's go to the gym today. I'm like, okay, let's go. I've already been, but let's go again. And these were people I met just at the gym. People I met from improving myself. It's the same thing with you. After you fall in love with this game of life and the leveling up, getting experience and progressing. And when you fall in love with that progress, so it becomes the only thing you can think about. You will meet other people on that journey. Other people who are doing the exact same thing as you. And guess what? When you meet them and you start meeting up with them more, you start to realize how much they care about you. You start to realize how much you care about them. And then you start to realize you're not, now you're not lonely anymore. But now you're not alone. There's nothing wrong with your alone time. But a lot of us feel lonely and lost in our alone time. Hopefully this helps you out just a little bit. Just helps you out find yourself. Anyway, look, I hope you've been good and I hope this video helped you out. And within the next few weeks, if you like me, I will be creating a community on the website known as School. And if you like me and you want to support me and you want more things from me, when that is up, I would really appreciate you go on to it because it'll be for free or it'll be like £5 a month where you can literally get more content from me. You can have personalized videos, questions, things that you want to learn about from my personal experience so you can avoid the same mistakes that I've learned. And not only that, it will be a community with other people. Other people you can meet who are on this same journey as you. But for now, I haven't said that up just yet. <laughs> so for now, I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here. Because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, come here. Self-improvement gifts. Mwah!